Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to this new video. Today we are going to solve another JavaScript interview question. So what we have to do is we are given an object, something similar to this. The object can be nested and can have different types of values. And we are given string path as you can see in the example. So a dot b dot c. A dot b dot c represents that we have to get the value of the key c in the object. So basically we have to move from A to B and then B to C and get the value of C. Similarly in the next path you see that we are given a string with the path A dot B dot C dot 0. So here 0 represents the array index. So here we will move from A to B, B to C and then we will return the 0th index value from the array that is 1. So we have to solutionize this. We have to give a solution for this problem. We have to accept this string path and return its corresponding value from the object. Now as you are aware right JavaScript is a very flexible language. So the object and the array both can be accessed in a same way. We can use the key to access the object value. Similarly we can use the index of the array to access the array's value. For example let's say we have this array whose value is 1 2 3 now here the index will be 0 1 and 2 now you can use the same square bracket operator and pass 0 and this will return you 1 because this will treat 0 as an index similarly if you have converted this to object and let's say we have 0 as 0 as key now if you use the same operator square bracket on these this will again treat this 0 as key and return you 1 as a value so vice versa we can use the same operator to access the values for the same keys in the object as well as in the array so for this 0 we don't have to add you know uh, explicit checks all we have to do is we have to navigate through the object so once you start from the beginning for the first key once you get the value you store the reference of its value let's say for a i have found the value for a so for the value of a the value is sorry for the key a the value is this object now this object holds b and c so what i'll do is i'll update the reference that is currently holding the a so it will now point to b and then we access b now b b's value is c so once we have found b we'll update the reference of b and then we'll move to c then from c to 0 and finally once we are at the last path we'll return the value that we hold we don't have to go down further so let's start implementing this problem one one thing to note over here is on line number 12 um, this you notice right so for other examples we have the string path and the string is separated by a dot operator for line 12 we have an array of strings that represents the same thing it represents the key path in the object but it is a array of string so rather than separating uh, a single string on period operator they have given us an array of string so we will have to handle these two cases let's start writing the solution for this problem before starting i just want to remind you that if you are preparing for your javascript interview you can check out my playlist also i have a ebook written with contains around 120 solved problems that are asked in past interviews on the big product based companies so you can use that to prepare for your interviews let's start implementing the solution here i am creating this get function this get function will accept the object and the string path from whom we have to get the value now the first thing i'll do over here is i'll add a check i'll just make sure that the string string path it's not an empty string so if it is not an empty string and the string path can be array as well right so here I am using the length operator to check if its value is not equal to 0. 
so if it is not an empty string or not a falsy value and if the length of the string path is you know not zero so the dot length property we can use on both array and the string so that's why there is no problem of you know error over here and if both are not you know feasible it's not passing the check so we'll return undefined here the next thing we are going to do is we have to separate the path from the string so because the paths are you know concatenated on period operator also for the array there are cases that they are concatenated, concatenated on the square operator so what we are going to do is we are going to iterate the string and from this we are ex going to exclude three types of character one is period so whenever we are you know iterating the string the characters of the string if we encounter period operator we are going to ignore it if we going to encounter this open square bracket we are going to ignore similarly for the closed square bracket and then we are going to convert this into string of paths similar to this array so if it is a string we are going to convert this to this array of characters or array of keys so let's see how we are going to do the first thing i'm doing over here is i am creating an array of exclude characters so that i can make a check and i can exclude them so those are the open square bracket the closed square bracket and the period operator and then we have the keys so we are going to create a array of keys similar to this array for that i'm going to iterate the string path and here i'm going to add a check if this exclude characters list includes the string path character so only if the string path characters does not belong to this list so we are going to add a negation check if it does not include the exclude characters does not includes the string path i i mean these characters are not present for the current character in the string then we are going to pass that character to this keys list so here i have used this array to you know make a dynamic check uh, rather than having multiple if conditions or switch case you can you know have your conditions according to your feasibility but i found this very easy because uh, let's say tomorrow i have to you know uh, or in the future i have to uh, make extra checks so i'll just add that character over here and it will do the uh, checking rather than having a new condition explicitly so now we got the keys list in our array so excluding this character everything else will be part of our keys list now when we get this array as a input so this will also be iterated because we are using dot length property to iterate the string path so dot length is also available on the array so there is no issue over here it can iterate this array and for each character it will check it does not includes any uh, you know special character that we want to exclude so the same array will be returned to us in keys now we got our keys path now we have to uh, get the value from the object for those so let's get the value what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the reduce method so on the keys i'll use the reduce method and i'll iterate each keys and here we have the object and the key as you know reduce is a very powerful method it uses an uh, an entry object and on that entry object we can use it further to perform operation and return the same value or the new value so here you can see on the reduce i am passing the object that we have received as input as the initial value this will be the first uh, uh, value in the callback function of the reduce and i'm because i'm reducing the keys so the first key from the keys array will be uh, available as the second value in the callback function here i'll just do return object and then key so what this will do is 
from the object it will return the first keys value so let's say our object is this and our first key is a so what it will do is it will return the first keys value that is this object that will include b and c so this object the returned object now will be available as the object value and the second key will be passed in the second iteration so right now initially we had this object that contained a b c so we got the value of a now we have this object that contains b and c now in the second call we'll use b to get the value then c and then the similarly the uh, array indexes and after that we are going to return the value so our implementation is complete now let's try to run this if i click on the run button you'll see that the first value we receive is 1 2 and 3 over here so a b and c c's value is 1 2 3 the complete array that's why we are getting 1 2 3 in the second string we get a b c and then the value of the 0th index which is 1 so here 1 is printed similarly here we are trying to access the string uh, a b c so the c keys value and the first index of the array so which is 2 we are getting 2 and then for this we are seeing that a b c and we have to get the second index value which is 3 so 3 is printed for this a b c there is no index 3 because uh, it contains only 3 elements the array on the c key that's why we are returning undefined we are getting undefined similarly for a and c so there is no direct path between a and c a has to go to b and b to c that's why we are getting undefined so this is how you can implement this function this function is a polyfill for the low dash underscore dot get method and it is a very common interview question that you can expect during the front end interviews for ST1 and ST2. If you like the uh, solution and if you like the video, please do share it with your friends and in your network. Thank you for your time.